In this video we are going to explain what is calorie deficit. Sometimes you don't lose weight even after workout and after following good diet. This is because you are not in calorie deficit. Calorie deficit is when your body doesn't get the calories it needs to perform all of its necessary functions your body gets energy or fuel from stored fat. This is the extra fat that you carry on your hips or thighs, in your belly, and throughout your body. Stored fat is stored energy. Your body can use it to keep moving instead of using energy from food. When your body burns fat for energy, you lose weight. How to create calorie deficit, so there are different ways by following them. You can create calorie deficit the first way, to create calorie deficit is eating less, if you cut your portion sizes, cut back on snacking, and choose lower calorie foods at mealtime, you'll consume fewer calories each day. If you reduce your caloric intake enough, you'll create a calorie deficit large enough for weight loss. The second way to create calorie deficit is by doing workout and playing different sports. The number of calories your body needs each day depends on your activity level. That includes the exercise and sports you do every day and also your non-exercise physical movement. If you increase the number of calories your body needs but still consume the same number of calories from food, you'll reach a calorie deficit. And at last the third way to create calorie deficit is by diet and workout combined this is the best way to create a calorie deficit. Most successful eaters combine diet and exercise to lose weight. That means that they might eat 250 fewer calories each day and then go for a 60 minute brisk walk to burn an additional 250 calories. The calorie deficit would total 500 calories. If you created a similar plan for each day, you'd reach the 3500 calorie deficit needed for weight loss. It doesn't matter which plan you choose to create an energy deficit. Different plans work for different eaters. But if you understand and create a calorie deficit on a regular basis, you'll be able to slim down to your goal weight. How to calculate calorie deficit. The first way to calculate calorie deficit is by keeping an eye on what you eat. The easiest way to ensure you eat fewer calories than you burn is, of course, to eat very little. If you have an apple for breakfast, a small salad for lunch, a piece of toast for dinner and nothing else, you can be pretty sure you're maintaining a calorie deficit. But you'll also be miserable with hunger and a lack of energy. The optimal calorie deficit is large enough to stimulate steady fat loss, but not so large that you're always hungry and lethargic. Avoiding a calorie deficit that is too large is even more important for athletes who need to keep their muscles well fueled for training. The calorie deficit sweet spot for athletes is 300 to 500 calories per day. The second way to calculate calorie deficit is by doing maths. Your ultimate goal is to figure out exactly how many calories to eat daily to lose weight without being hungry and lethargic and without sabotaging your training. To do that you need to figure out how many calories you burn each day and then subtract your target deficit of 300 to 500 calories from that number. There are two components to your total calories burned daily, calories burned at rest and calories burned during workouts. To begin, add up the total number of hours you train in a typical week and divide that number by 7 to yield the average number of hours you train daily. For example, if you train 7 hours per week on average, it works out to 1 hour per day. Next, multiply this number by your body weight in pounds and the average number of calories you burn per pound of body weight per hour of training. The average number of calories you burn per hour of training is influenced by your speed. Use this table to get the appropriate multiplier.